Hey, Harry. Hello. I recently saw a clip on Side Plus where you said we should uh, survive a desert island together for a video. I'd love to do I'd it. Back I'd love this. to do that. No, I'd love please. to do it. So no. I thought this video would be a good one for us to prepare and yes. not do these 10 things that could actually kill you. Sorry, how okay. long are we talking? A day. A you day. We get, there, we, get there, we get there early more, like six, and we have to survive until, I think like 24 hours. So we have to make camp at some point and get food. Yeah. To forage and make As a, as a gang a or are we against each other? Yeah, no, no, we're all together. Uh, we're, as a team. A, a team. A whole team, one team. A whole team. I, think I think two teams. I think, I think two teams is funny because if you have a three and a four, one team might like. Nah, but then there'll be well. sabotage and someone will take it too far and one of us will And it'll be Lord of the Flies and someone will get stabbed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think it's good. I think we do it all together. We split up. So like you, that that you, that this group goes and tries to get us food. This group's gonna try and build us different shelter. responsibilities. Yeah, I, I like yeah, that. We'll... I like that one. I like that one. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I ain't trying to have my base set on fire by JJ. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's ten survival life hacks that can actually kill you. Also, just saying, Simon, bold of you to assume that JJ will be able to light a fire. Number ten. In case of lightning, lie on the ground. Oh. Okay. If you ever find yourself outside during a lightning storm, do not lie flat on the ground. I can't ever. Do that. Why? Well, for one, this survival tip is mostly based on well-meaning but wrong assumptions. For example, it's a common misconception that lightning only strikes the tallest objects. On the contrary, lightning can hit anywhere, from buildings and yeah, trees to short parking dons. lots and the soil. Therefore, <laughs> <Fuck off. laughs> the on the ground could actually just kill as much you. Trouble as me. You see, when lightning strikes, a ground charge could spread out in every direction, right from the base of the area struck, so what do you almost do? like a ripple effect. Jump. Lying Stand down is even dumber and more dangerous than you'd think, right. since you're basically providing more potential points on your body for the lightning to hit. Here's what you should do instead if you're caught outside. Try to crouch down in a ball-like position with your head tucked in and your hands over your ears. This will keep your body's contact with the ground to a bare <laughs> minimum. Otherwise, doing? please find shelter. Number nine, oh, so you like squat making down. a okay. fire in a cave. Brace yourself, like on the Contrary plane. to their name and the fact they discovered the advantage This will be us. Cave this will be us, boys. <laughs> error that bringing a fire deep into their cave was dangerous. Today, though, many still believe it's a good idea. The truth is, That's you should fumes, never ever start yeah, a fire in a cave. It's extremely like. dangerous because, among other things, the heat resulting from the flames causes rocks to expand and break, which oh, causes oh. cave-ins. But that's not all. It's well known that fires can also produce carbon monoxide, yep. a poisonous gas that has no smell or taste and therefore is especially dangerous. It produces mild Jeez, progressive frontal headaches COVID. and drowsiness. Ultimately though, prolonged exposure to this gas in a confined space can lead to death. Oh, and God. guess what? Caves tend to be very confined spaces with no fresh air ventilation. No it's not way. surprising then that when a fire starts in a cave, it spreads easily. See, I'd, Too have, bad I'd have done this. I'd have gone deep into the cave and lit a fire. Oh, but now it's not equally yeah, easy yeah. to stop. In 2019, when a cave welcome. fire broke out in the Los Padres National Forest in California, the blaze burned 4,300 acres down to the ground wow. in less than 24 hours. Climbing a tree yes. if a bear is chasing you. If you're wondering what you should do if I you ever done encounter this. a bear, the perfect <laughs> answer is to basically fight your instincts. Easier said than done. I bet most people think that at the sight of a grizzly bear, you should run as fast as you can away from it nope. and find an out of reach no, spot like a tree or a telephone yeah. pole. Ooh. That, my friends, is the easiest to pick up in the bear's claws <laughs> and good, jaws. Good stuff, Harry. What you want ready? to do in that situation is to <laughs> close contact with the wild animal at Today's any English cost. So, bears. first of all, the US <laughs> National Park Service website advises to slowly back away. Oh. Any sudden movement could startle the animal, oh, oh, triggering a away. chase response, oh. in which slowly. case you're toast. Climbing a tree is also a terrible idea. This is because there's no way a man Bruh, can over I ain't climbing like that. Your scared brain will probably tell you to find the highest place to hide, but don't do it. Bears are excellent climbers, and if they're already after you, there's but a high the chance they'll time, follow you right? up there. If I'm being chased by a bear, I'm done for. If I'm up a tree and a bear is climbing up, I can at least kick down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. You're not you, wrong. You got the high ground. You could do a bit more damage, maybe. Well, it has to keep its hand or its paws on the tree. So if it starts trying to hit me, I just need one little kick and it will fall. I mean, I, like, yeah. I rate the optimism. I like yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just, Whether I'm not you get saying, that high up the tree in the No, first I'm not place. saying it's a solid tactic. I'm just saying compared to running away. Yeah, mate. Well, yeah. S slowly back away. Be like KSI and just one bang it. Knock it out. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. Peeing on a jellyfish sting. Ooh. 
I Being stung this. by a jellyfish I had, to do, I had to do this in Hawaii The pain is so intense That even well, if you have the slightest chance Of making it better You'll try it Oh is it? That's well, probably why The myth that peeing on jellyfish Things eases pain thing, right? Spread so easily Depends It also might be due to the fact That urine contains compounds Like ammonia and urea These substances may be helpful For some stings However your pee Contains mostly water Which dilutes the ammonia and urea Too much to be effective Additionally the pee may actually Worsen the sting It is in fact the jellyfish tentacles That cause the pain They have stinging cells Pneumatizers that contain venom. Yeah, I can back Sodium you on that in your one. Urine, no, together with the speed of the urine stream odd. could Hate move it. the stingers around the injury and trigger the cells to release oh, even that, more venom. But is there a brain now, the average there jellyfish moving thing, like, what, the worst like, thing that can happen is a trip to the hospital covered in pee and an insanely painful rash. But what if the venom of that jellyfish was particularly poisonous? Peeing on it might literally be the difference between life and death. Number six. So what, are you meant to do it or not? No. No. You're not meant to. Because the worst that will happen if you do get stung is you get a painful rash. Drinking pee. Not only will <laughs> drinking urine not save too. you from dehydration, it could actually endanger your face. already critical conditions. To understand why, first you should probably know that the this anyway? no. No. person and adults can survive up to a week without water and three weeks without food. Whereas among the lovely things that might happen to you if you drink pee, there are sore gums, nausea and failing organs. Mm. Now I'm not saying that drinking a few sips of the stuff will kill you, but drinking urine for a prolonged amount of time, even for a day or two, will cause the opposite effect of what you want. Dehydration. Who's drinking piss you will add for a extra day? work to your kidneys Bagrass. that will use more water to process the waste <laughs> no. in the urine than it gives you to survive. Oh, and did you know that pee is full of bacteria? Bit, among right? the most famous is Staphylococcus, <laughs> which is known to cause food poisoning and gum so and drank snake I don't know about you, but I can Ugh. think of better ways to go. Uh. Number five, cactus. <laughs> One of the most infamous tips on how to survive in the desert if you have no fresh water and are in desperate need of liquid is drinking cactus water. After all, it can't be that different to coconut water, can it? Well, actually, cactus water is very different from coconut oh, water hell. and natural water in general. Okay. For example, in order to avoid aggressions from thirsty wild animals, most cactus species protect their spongy flesh not only with spines, but with acids and potential ah. alkaloids too. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no. Wait, body, what about cactus fruit? on the kidneys if in Cactus fruit gotta be fine, because plants want people to eat fruit um, and to spread the seeds. And Red Bull make cactus fruit flavour, so I imagine they're not going to kill us. I've mm. heard of cactus fruit. Is it a fruit that goes on, grows on a cactus? What is this? Is it... Yeah. Are we going to get demonetized for this image on screen right now? No. No. Why? <laughs> well, <laughs> why would we? <laughs> why are you looking at them cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> Looking at an underboob. Chester. Yeah. Uh, also include morphine, strychnine, quinine, ephedrine, and nicotine, which have physiological effects on people. Jeez, get Additionally, a little the flesh is from cactus, <laughs> vomiting, <laughs> diarrhea, and even paralysis, which, in an emergency oh. situation, can lead to death. Do you remember the guy that ate a snail and got paralysed? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. It was, it was a slug, no? Or slug, a slug, a slug. slug, slug yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a dare. It was a bad yeah. dare. Number four. Sunk the venom of snakes. Nope. You've probably read this in books, watched it in movies, played it in Red Dead Redemption, and maybe even seen it in documentaries. But the best thing to do when a oh, snake bites you is either skin. to call for an ambulance mm. if possible and wait for it while remaining as still as you can, or by getting someone to take you to the hospital as soon as possible. In whichever case, try to keep your movements to a bare minimum, since moving will make yeah. your blood, infected with venom, run faster around your body. And you'd want to avoid that, since if the venom spreads quickly, it won't just stay at the point of the bite. This brings us to the next point. The Sucking the venom from the wound right. is completely useless. Uh. In fact, by doing so, you can make your situation even more serious. Your rescuer, for example, could get venom in their mouth and therefore their system too, making your situation even more dire. Or, as demonstrated by a study in the New England Journal of Medicine, you could also damage nerves and blood vessels, Ooh. which would then lead to infection. Ooh. Don't waste time and try to find the nearest hospital. Okay, Number three, wearing plastic bags to lose weight. Okay, who's doing On paper, doing plastic bags, waist Harry, trainers, and way more sophisticated. <laughs> 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 do you mean like a sweatsuit, or do they yeah. mean like a, like, yeah? yeah? I think so, but the yeah. sweatsuit does work. The sweatsuit no, does but some people actually use say. plastic bags. People who recur to these kinds of remedies will see their weight decrease rapidly. This is why it's easy to fall for this dangerously rapid solution. However, weight loss can come at a high price. In practice, sauna suits increase your sweat, hence a loss of water while exercising, which is why it's touted as a hack. Basically, all the weight loss you'll see on your scale is not caused by fat burning, but dehydration. Mm -hmm. Therefore, not only will your body immediately regain what you've lost, you know, when you rehydrate again, but you'll also put your body into extreme danger. The sweating technique can ruin your thermoregulation since dehydration increases the body's core temperature. Cardiovascular functions, renal functions, this muscle strength sense. and endurance can also mm. be damaged. 
In extreme I mean, cases, excessive sense. sweat loss can cause hypothermia and high levels of myoglobin in the blood, all of which can potentially kill you. If you really want to lose weight, you might as well stick to traditional training and professional advice. Yeah, that. Number two, Jeez. using ice to quench thirst. This thirst can, can kill really you. drive you insane, so whatever quenches Rain it, freeze. even temporarily, <laughs> may seem like a good option. However, you should never ease your thirst with something other than water in the long term. Still, what do you do when there's no portable water around you and you really don't want to drink your own urine? An old survival hack suggests finding some ice, presuming you're not in a desert, and consume that instead. It doesn't seem like such a bad idea, does it? After all, else. ice is water. But that. you see, although ice is a form of water, it's not really the same thing. The difference in this situation is quite important. In fact, according to the World Health Organization, unlike water, ice is unmineralized and has low density. Oh. In the long term, ice consumption could lead to some serious illnesses, like infections and cardiovascular problems. what if you problems. melt the ice and then drink that? I guess that's fine. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So you're saying don't eat cubes of ice? Okay, <coughs> I, I won't do that. I'll just put like... How does it lead to infection? Cream. What about sorbet? That's kind of like ice. I feel like this is if you have no access to water. But if you've got oh. ice, then you have got I access just, to water because you just yeah. melt the fucking ice. You've got a little box of water right there. Like... Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get this. I don't get yeah. this really. That's Which, in the most severe of cases, water, water. can lead to heart failure. Heart failure? This is due to the need to eat ice, known as pagophagia, being linked to anemia, which can then cause these issues, according to the Mayo Clinic. On top of everything, mm. ice does not even hydrate Clinic you anywhere the near the same level as water, so while it can work temporarily, it is not a safe replacement for a true water source. Number one. Yeah. Remove a sharp object oh, I know from this the wound. Yeah, yeah. Here's a tricky That's one, especially really? if it ever happens to you. Yeah. Having a Wait, foreign object. Oh, okay. I thought this meant like a little stone in your arm or something like that. Not, no, not no, no. if you get shanked, you, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you get right. shanked, you leave a knife. Object, yeah. and stabbed into your body must be one of the most uncomfortable and painful things imaginable. The body will fill the need to remove it from the affected parts. Still, you must be stronger and resist temptation. In fact, every expert will tell you that removing a knife or any other impaled object from the wound can only make things worse and in some cases even cause death. In fact, once the object is stabbed into the body, it acts like a plug to the injury and reduces blood loss. The moment you remove it, the blood will flow freely into an acute hemorrhage. The best thing to do is simply to apply pressure around the wound and the object with a piece of fabric and wait for an ambulance. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna so those were 10 survival life hacks that can actually kill you. Have we missed any off the list? Well, I hope that was useful. Yeah, yeah I've learned a few things. I've learned a few things. That last one's definitely useful for you, Toby, living in Stratford. What? Oh, oh there we are. Don't Thanks. say such things, don't say such things. If you've put bad judge on me right now, <laughs> <laughs> the comments will come for you, Simon. <laughs> oh, I meant because you're gonna stab someone. Why would I why would <laughs> I stab someone? Oh, Simon? Uh, keep digging. You're digging, keep digging. yourself a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks All right. for watching you lot. We'll catch you in a bit.